Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome once again to another episode of The Amazing Life Show and uh, I am just so thrilled to have another special guest today in this wonderful episode. Okay, so um, we started a little bit late. We're really sorry about that because uh, there were some issues with connect uh, connections right now. Um, I think, um, like Eric was saying, that the uh, Indonesian side there's a little bit of uh, internet connectivity issues from the ISP side. So I'm really hoping everything is stable right now. And I really hope that uh, you guys will be, will be able to enjoy the live stream as it is, as it should be. Um, as always, I just want to welcome everyone again to our live streaming channel. Um, some of you guys might be on Facebook, some of you guys might be on Twitch. And those of you guys who are on Twitch, you can stream at 1440p. For those of you guys on Facebook, you'll be able to stream at 1080p so you guys can see everything in the totality. And of course, you know, there is... Um, some of you guys may be watching on your uh, mobile phones and uh, may have connection issues. You can actually downstream to about 720p so you can still enjoy the live stream to the best of your mobile device's ability. Okay, so um, just want to share a little bit about what's going on right now. Uh, we are about uh, day, I have no idea how many, <laughs> to the circuit breaker. So um, some of you guys who are still new to this channel are probably wondering what, what, what is The Amazing Life Show all about. So just a quick recap, The Amazing Life Show is actually a free live streaming channel that I started as a personal project that somehow evolved into what it is today. And what I do from time to time is actually I run uh, virtual workshops, tutorials on uh, Capture One, Lighting, whatever, once in a while, okay? That one I can't do every day. But in the meantime, I try to bring in special guests who can share a little bit of their knowledge and experiences with you guys. And I try to bring in people from uh, all over Asia and even beyond. So uh, last Tuesday, we actually had Sales Chong. Um, today, we're going to have Eric Dinardi. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to have someone else, but uh, unfortunately, because of his tight schedule, he was, um, he's supposed to go for a meeting, so he's not able to join us. So I'll be doing a filler episode, and that's where I'm going to share a little bit about uh, the behind the scenes of some of my previous works, as well as how I go about doing this live stream. Because a lot of people have been asking me, Mess, how do you do your live stream? How do you set up a camera and your... Well, set up. So I'm just here to share with you guys. So hopefully, uh, for those people who are trying, who are trying to start their own live streaming channel, you can actually benefit from this episode as well. Um, but that's tomorrow. But tonight we're gonna have Eric Dinardi, and he is gonna be uh, joining us in a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna share a little bit of uh, my social media channels, uh, as always. For those of you guys who have been on this uh, live streaming platform with me for the past couple of, wow, I just realized this is episode number twenty one. Yeah, so we have been around for quite some time. Um, I've been live, live streaming uh, thrice a week, and uh, this is this is actually a personal project that, like I said, evolved into something else. So I uh, just want to give a shout out to some folks who are on right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Alex on Twitch. Kaito Des, hi. Wesley, hi. Wenchi, hi. How are you? Uh, those people on Twitch, on Facebook, we've got Adnan, Razin, Fari, Bingkui, Lee, sorry. If I, got, if I pronounce your name wrongly, I'm really sorry about that. Kalis is one. Siti Rohana, hi. John, Francis... John, Francisco, Brian Fong, and Spencer Tan. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, Musi Shuffle also. Hi. <laughs> and Bita Rasu. Hi, hi. Good to see you guys. Um, tell me where, whether you're from Singapore, Indonesia, or Malaysia. We've we got so many people joining in from overseas, and it's quite exciting to know where you guys are from. So um, let me just share with you some stuff here. Okay, this is my personal website. If you guys are new to this channel, you're probably wondering what do I do for a living. Uh, my, I'm actually a commercial photographer specializing in portraits. I also run the Aramism Academy where I reach out to people and share uh, my knowledge with them by running workshops or even uh, free talks and seminars at uh, various locations like uh, Library Orchard. You know, Library Orchard, for those of you guys who have come and tuned in before or come and attend before, our seminars is like those kind of free gathering and then you just come in and just enjoy two hours of uh, a learning session with us on photography and I do bring guest speakers from uh, everywhere else also for that session um, and we cover very dynamic range of topics you know it's just not myself uh, some people also share their own stuff like uh, animation uh, advertising photography food photography uh, drone photography or rather drone videography yeah so this is my website so you do check it out I also run a blog so you can actually see what uh, the latest happenings are and currently it's not loading I don't know why 
but that's WordPress for you, I guess. Ah, there we go. So in the event that you guys are wondering what's next on the Amazing Life show, you can always come into my blog and figure things out for yourself because, no, I'm just kidding. I will actually post up something to remind you guys of the next episode, um, which reminds me I need to update it. I haven't been updated because I don't have time for it. I'll try my best next time, guys. I'll, I'll try my best, okay? Uh, you can also have a direct link to the live stream here on the Twitch channel, so you can click on it and you can actually be brought over to my Twitch channel as well. If you haven't next already, time, uh, okay, uh, you can of course uh, change the settings so you can stream at 1440p, everything is clear, but we're not going to watch that, but yeah, anyway, this is uh, something else also, uh, the live streaming panel, sorry, the Twitch stream channel has got some panels over here, so you can take a look at them. Uh, hi, Gavin and Michael, thanks for joining us, and Ferdows too, and Nazri as well, thank you, good evening. <laughs> we also have... Um, Sort of like a game going on here. I, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it, but uh, maybe like the most chatty people for the month will be able to win something. So right now we have... Uh, Jarvis is my bot, so he's not going to win anything. But Zig is leading. So Zig followed by myself, which of course I will take out from the equation. We have Kaito Des and Alex Chrysler. You guys are like the top five. Including, oh, Emil Flip as well. Yeah, and Yons. Okay, so you guys are the top five. Um... I'll figure something out. I don't know, maybe a giveaway or something. I haven't thought about it yet. Anyway, there's a suggestion box here as well. Uh, so if you've got any suggestions on how to make the channel better, and if you have any ideas of uh, who the next guest speaker should be, you can actually you know, chime in as well. Just give me a suggestion, and I'll try my best to reach out to that person. It helps even more if you actually know the person personally, because if you can do that, then you can bridge the gap easily, and I can reach out to that person, and we try to do something, all right? Um... Yeah, so that's my Twitch channel. This is my blog. Okay, then this is my Facebook page. Um, my Facebook page is also where... Actually, I'm most active on my Facebook page when it comes to updates for the Amazing Life show. So anytime there's an event or, or uh, a session or a streaming episode I'm going to put up, I will just include it under the events page. So do check out my Facebook page as well. I'll put a link up in a bit. Um, or oh, actually, I can get my moderators, Kaito Des, Musi, and uh, Zik to help me just type my social media. It's just hashtag social. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that's on Twitch. On Facebook, I'll just copy paste later. Yeah, all right. So this is uh, our Museum Academy. Again, I also put up my episode information here as well. Um, I'll copy paste the URL later. This is my Twitter. Okay, my profile is here. You can check out some of my daily ramblings. <laughs> Not ramblings, but... Uh, latest updates as well as some tips and thoughts on photography in general and I do retweet stuff which I find useful for you guys So in the event that there are articles by f-stopper or petapixel, which I think will benefit the community I'll retweet them here. So you guys you guys can follow me here as well um, I forgot to include my Instagram. My Instagram just closed accidentally. Okay, so this is my Instagram channel um, I'm trying my best to be as active as I was before on my Instagram channel, but uh, recently I, I, I just haven't been shooting much so, nothing much there. <laughs> oh, wait. Why is my face doing here? I, I can't move it. Never mind. Uh, Shirley Bong. Hi, hi. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us as well. Mario and Stephanus. Thank you. Hi, hi. Good evening. Yep. So, this is my Instagram. Um, yeah. So, anyway. Just a quick shout out to some of the folks who actually made today possible. Um, the Amazing Live Show is supported, of course, by Carousel and Singapore. Sorry. Let me just... My <laughs> silent mood on my phone. Um, sorry. As I was saying... This channel is supported by Carousel Singapore as part of the hashtag Made in SG initiative. So this is something that is trying to support all the local creatives and artists, uh, build up platforms, and try to reach out to others during this COVID-19 period. Now, as you guys probably know by now, the Amazing Life Show is actually started because of COVID-19. I couldn't run my workshops, I couldn't run my talks and stuff like that, so I decided to move everything online. So here we are. And anyway, it's a lot more convenient. You can just relax and chill at home and watch all this, yeah? So... Today's episode is actually brought to you by Azo APEC. Uh, they have uh, kindly, you know, like, uh, helped spread the word about the channel's uh, current episode. So, this is Azo APEC's website. You can actually check them out. Um, they have wonderful monitors. So, I'm just putting the link out on... Uh... Oh, no. I just realized I forgot to copy the social media things on, on, a, on a Facebook. Okay, let me just do that right now. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to copy and paste the URL for Ezo APEC on Facebook as well. So take, take a look at that. Um, then there's also Buy Ezo. Buy Ezo is actually uh, Singapore based. Uh, they do provide the platform for um, e-commerce platform rather to sell 
um, you guys there is a monitors and it's really wonderful that they actually have the work for home special so for those of you guys who actually need very accurate colors on your monitor screens and you need perfect details and you are looking for for solutions that can help you take your photography as well as your printmaking to the next level check out by azo.com.sg all right so this is actually the, the link i'm just gonna copy it over and paste it over i wish my bot can do this automatically but unfortunately that's not the case okay anyway moving on bacteria photography now bacteria photography has got nothing to do with the coronavirus thankfully okay and uh what Ari always tries to say is uh bacteria can be good virus is always bad right so this is bacteria photography which is Eric Dinardi's company name okay so uh just want to share a little bit about uh, who Eric Dinardi is uh he is actually is someone that i met a long time ago in i think 2017 three years ago during a shoot scene and i realized that his photography style is so beautiful i mean he shoots um uh, automobiles uh, and back then i think during the demonstration session he actually shot a motorbike and that bike belongs to my brother so it was a ducati red color i can't remember what model it is but anyway um eric was uh, a very fine gentleman he's very calm very relaxed very humble and i i love the way he speaks you know and and back then he did share with me you know that uh he's not really very confident with speaking english in front of a crowd and all that but over the years of getting to know him and spending some time more time with him he actually shared that uh, he's gaining more confidence in speaking English, right? and 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 you know to see him glow, glow <laughs> grow and glow, uh, it it is is really nice, and and to see you know if you if you met Eric, you probably know what I mean. He 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 is always trying to learn something new, and it really shows. Um, so last year I met him again in Shoot KL, and this time he was so confident in in speaking English, and and he just delivered his entire session with great aplomb. And, and I really like the fact that after the whole thing is over, he was like, ah, how was it? <laughs> he's, he's always like very fun to hang out with and very chill. And the two of us really connect over Final Fantasy. So um, he's always saying that, uh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, what, what was that? He always says something about uh, uh, he needs to get the new material to <laughs> improve himself or something like that. Yeah, he's a very fun guy. But anyway, that that's, that's just me and him. Uh, Eric Dinardi began his photography career back in 2004, December, and he began by changing his mother's guest room into his office and studio and focused on food photography. Um, of course, this was like 16 years ago. Now, recently, uh, Eric did do some kind of food photography seminar with Prima Imaging in Indonesia, and I can tell you the the amount of you know improvement he has made over the years has it's just astounding. All right, when when you look at his food photography, you know, what I mean, it, it, it's it's just a yeah, you just want to take the food out from your screen and just bite into it. Uh, since the beginning, he aimed to learn multiple genres of photography. And over time, he built a portrait photo studio and covered wedding photography, product photography, documentation, corporate, and also commercial photography. This guy does everything, all right? At one point, okay, this is the part that really touches my heart. He had 26 employees, some of whom he had recruited without prior skills. Now, in Singapore, you guys probably heard about this. Um, whenever there's... Um, uh, employment and all that you know they always look at skills they always look at your paperwork they always look at your capabilities and abilities but here eric takes it in a different route all right he actually hired people without prior skills in photography for example he actually taught a peddler practical photography skills and turned him into a good photographer now this is something i want to ask him about later um, however on his sixth year of the business he chose to turn you know, he chose to deviate from his original plans and he chose to focus on being a photographer, not a photography comp company owner whose focus was on managerial and leadership duties. So instead of going that road, he decided to go back to becoming a photographer again. He chose to specialize in his passions, automobile, product, architectural and corporate commercial photography. Driven with passion to give the best quality for his clients, his company is now flexible and adaptive to new trends and technology. And this goes to show um, in his works. You know, you, you just look at his portfolio right now. I'm just going to share it with you quickly, his portfolio. All right. I don't know what my face is doing for it. Never mind. It's okay. Just ignore my, my face. <laughs> so this is, this is his stuff, right? And he covers quite a broad uh, genre, but all pertaining to the four. Oh, is it four or five? Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four core elements, okay? Um, sorry, my math is not good, so I, I always have problems counting. Yeah, so this is something that uh, I would like him to share about later on. And uh, 
from our little conversation yesterday, he really wants to go in and share a little bit more than what I expect him to. So this is just amazing. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring in uh, our good friend, Eric Dinadi, onto the channel. Let me just expand the screen. Okay, Eric, you are now live on the Amazing Live Show. Welcome to the channel. Hi, hi, mate. Thank you, thank you. Hi, thank hi. you for all the good words. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were tuning in because I saw your name coming out on the, the other channel. And uh, it, it's, it's really true what I said because uh, you don't have to be so humble so much. <laughs> you are just an amazing individual. <laughs> I love chatting with you. I love hanging out with you. And uh, the fact that you actually agreed to come onto my uh, live streaming show, I am deeply humbled and I'm very grateful that you actually agreed. I, I, uh, yeah, I think yeah, the pleasure is mine. It's, it's <laughs> I'm invited by you, and yeah. the way you explain bacteria is really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just sharing. <laughs> yeah, just sharing what, what you're talking about. Virus is always good. Virus is always bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you always say. You know, you, you always tell me this this joke because uh, I remember the first time I I spoke to you. You told me your studio's name is uh bacteria photography. So the the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, this guy shoots medical stuff. Is it like? You only shoot bacteria, <laughs> microscopic stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's just a... a I remember you said over dinner, um, it's just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but I, I love the fact that you also shared with me that, uh, yeah, bacteria is bad. Uh, bacteria can be good and bad, but virus is always bad. So this is kind of apt, I mean, considering the, the circumstances right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, Eric... Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wondering who is Eric Dinari. Could you share a little bit more about? I mean, I, I did share a little bit about yourself just now, but I just want to hear it from the man himself. Um, tell us more about who you are and what you do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think your explanation before is really good. I think my explanation is not as good as you. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 I'm. I'm a. Yeah, I start photography since uh, almost 16 years ago. The time flew so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I still uh, cannot accept that I'm already uh, quite old now, <laughs> almost 40. And then uh, uh, I I have no base photography education at all. I study electrical engineering in my school. And uh, since I was a kid, I like to... I really like cars and motorcycle. So my amb uh, my ambition uh, when I was young is I want to go to Japan. I want to work in Japan. I want to work in factory in Japan to make cars. Oh wow! But I think yeah, I think but the fate. Uh... Sorry, Eric. Check your connection. Uh, okay. Brings me to. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's my okay connection now. Is... No, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So at first I want to go to art school so I can design a car, but I'm not accepted. So I think okay, I just go to electrical engineering so I can make something for cars. But then after uh, I almost graduate, uh, I introduce photography. So I I uh, I think oh, okay okay I think I just shoot cars. Mm -hmm. Then all related to cars. <laughs> so <laughs> I think uh, since then always cars 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 cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although for the start, I start as a food photographer. Mm. Okay, uh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, can I share a screen? I have a presentation about hi. Oh, okay. I, about your, your, your photography. Sure, sure, sure. By all means. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it pretty much covers. It's a visualization of your uh, story before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sure, sure. That'd be okay. great. It's always fun to have uh, guest speakers who actually share uh, their life stories and they actually create a presentation about it. It makes my life easier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. We can see your screen very clearly. Okay. Yep. So this is bacteria. I don't know uh, from from what point of view. Oh. But 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 the logo symbolize the the side light that i use it's mm -hmm. the reflection of the standard reflector that's the most lighting that i usually use ah i see yeah yeah and i, I can see that you shoot uh, the phase one camera <laughs> yeah i think photography for me is yeah it's a 
very unexpected journey. It's it brings me uh, to a lot of place, meet so many people. Yep. And then for me, photography is quite a unique, unique, uh, unique thing. It's mm-hmm. it it's like a thin line between arts and visual communication. Yes. So yeah, and uh, this is uh, I started as a first as a food photographer, but actually it's a wed- wedding cakes photographer only. Mm. So this is I usually take this kind of photo. Although this this is uh, not my photo, I take from the internet. But uh, the 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 my old photo is already gone. I don't know where. <laughs> so it my my work is like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I I was paid uh, maybe one Singapore dollar per photo. What one Singapore and, dollar? Uh, I can only work uh, nine 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 Singapore dollar per photo oh. for one wedding cake photo, and then I can only work from four. PM to 6 PM uh, in Saturday and Sunday because that uh, when the wedding cakes is already arrived in the building, I have to so I have to go into the building. I have to set my light and then take the photo and then I go to another place. So within within two hour, I usually have to go to uh, four or five different place to take wedding photo. I see. And then yeah, then I I did that. Uh, in the Saturday and Sunday only, and then usually when the venue is already run, they usually the, the organizer said, "Oh, photographer, go away, go away. <laughs> Cake photographer, go away, go away." Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then the uh, on Monday I edit the photo. So then uh, then after I I did it for a while for several months, I get uh, more. Recommendation. I get more clients, and this is the the some photo that that we did at that time. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the food photo. This is oh, and when I start to make a portrait studio, I also do something like this. My I, my employee is quite uh, good to create. Uh, Some creative oh. stuffs. Although now when I when I saw them is quite, I'm a, a bit uh, the quality is so bad. <laughs> uh, Eric, Eric, sorry. Can I can I slow you down okay. a little bit because uh your connection is uh okay. quite 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 oh, bad yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so maybe maybe what you can do is uh just spend a little bit more time the photos because uh sometimes the 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 photos skip by themselves. Oh okay 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is the my previous works on the early days. Mm. So I tried to shoot wedding, but I or but I already don't have any any remains of my uh, wedding photos. Okay. So this is the first. The logo is like this. <laughs> so and cute. usually, uh, yeah, usually the guests come to my studio and ask, uh, "Do you sell yogurt or do you sell <laughs> what type of what type of stuff do you sell?" And then, uh, do you sell milk or something? <laughs> oh wow! So so they they, they had no idea. Yeah, yeah. So from the beginning, the name is always brings me some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so the the yeah the the atmosphere is kind of like this. It's mm. crowded. It's uh, full of people. Yep. And yeah, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> and and how? How young were you in that picture again? I can see uh, you're holding up the signboard. I think this is sixteen uh, years ago. Six. So today the... I'm more handsome, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you are. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that that's one thing I like about uh, you, Eric. Your your sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so so I think after uh, uh since my uh. Early six years, I I haven't I haven't have my confidence as a photographer. I I keep questioning what what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. What am I later? What am I? Yep. And uh, this is my turning moment. I think this is the the moment when when I realized that okay, I want to be a photographer. Uh, I met wow. this this special client. This client is. Just by this incredible car, 
and I saw this car is I I already saw this car on the internet, mm-hmm. and the real thing is much much better than I saw in on the internet. So I, I uh, based of my interest to cars, I have ambition that what if I try to make a car photo that's as good as the real one. Mm-hmm. So uh, that the moment that. I think it's defined what I want to do in photography that day. And then uh, the client also also tell me to move to Jakarta. Oh. Before I was in Bandung, this client, oh, okay, Eric, uh, if you want to move forward in your photography career, I will support you to move to Jakarta. I think it's it has a bigger market. So I think without uh, any any second thought okay I, i'll follow i follow his advice okay I, i'll move to jakarta and mm-hmm. then the client said okay if i can support you with uh, uh with with some like a uh, soft loan mm-hmm. what kind of stuff do you want to what do you want to buy he asked and at that time i think uh, my equipment is not not too good so the first item that i remember that i buy and i use the soft loan is the brown color graphite. Oh. That that is the first brother that I bought. I think it's it's one good tool to for me to move to Jakarta, I think. This is uh, okay. when you met uh, Prima Imaging I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first I met Power and I'm a bit scared, you know. <laughs> I, I, I I have no courage to look at his face. Oh. oh. Oh, the 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 equipment seller is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I I I wonder if Warren is watching right now. Because <laughs> I, I I did invite him. Uh, he he did mention that he would try to 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 watch the show as well. So Warren, if you're watching this, yeah, hi. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but 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 yeah, but after this, a while, I talked to Powerden. I think Powerden is for me now is like my father in photography. Wow. <laughs> Don't yeah. talk to him. Don't talk to him. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, uh, so after the uh, after that moment, I realized that okay, my way is being a photographer, and I believe that being a photographer, I have to to through this process, I have to learn a lot. I have to learn continuously. I think for some some point, I I can stop learning and do the do the job, but but. But I think it's wrong. But photography requires us to keep learning. Yeah. So I think we have to keep evolving and upgrade. And then uh, I decide to not specialize in certain types because I think uh, photography has so many so many things that I can learn a lot, and then someday maybe I can combine it into something great. That's true. Okay, so I think that that moment is in two thousand and two thousand and nine, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and then at at the time, uh, all about the oh sorry. After the oh sorry, after two thousand in two thousand in twenty uh in oh, sorry sorry sorry, okay, uh in twenty in. 2010, year year 2010, mm-hmm. I got a very big problem oh. uh, in in my whole life. So I think uh, photography for me is I built this photography is I have a very big struggle from the beginning. You know when when I'm first uh, established uh, in 2004. I bring my camera by borrowing uh, money from my brother, mm. and then the camera is stolen. S- stolen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera oh, is stolen. Oh, <laughs> uh, for a couple of months, and then so uh, I I borrow my brother's camera, and then I I keep shooting, and then I manage to buy another camera. So I, I have two at that time. Then uh, after a couple of months. The second camera and my brother camera also stolen. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so which, in my first, wait, which, so which in my camera first is, is... two years as photographer, oh, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate. So uh, uh, event for me, Eric. Eric, what 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 camera were those? Yeah. Do, you, do you recall the the brand and the model and the make? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my first camera to do the job is uh, Nikon the D70. D70. And, and yeah, yeah. The first camera I learned is the, this, the FM10. Oh. This is my camera that I used to learn photography. Ah, oh, that's a nice throwback. But uh, the, the D70 and your <laughs> brother's camera also got, got stolen. I mean, the D70 is the yeah, first yeah, camera so, you tried. So, so I think the first six months as a photographer, uh, I lost three cameras already. <laughs> oh, man. And then I, I already uh, have several uh, clients. Uh -huh. The moment when I lost the third camera, I already, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's a very depressing for me. I oh, ask, oh, I think it's a fate that shows me that I shouldn't be a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> So, so when I lost my camera, my clients call me and then, Eric, you have to go now. I want to, I want you to take my cake photo now. And then, oh, uh, how? I, I don't have any camera at that time. And, uh, because it's, it's just, sto it's stolen. Yeah. It's, it's just stolen. So, but uh, luckily this client is strong, right? So, mm. uh, I, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't want to know how uh, but but you have to come to my place to take the photo. Mm -hmm. So I go to the camera store in Bandung, the the store that I brought the first three D seventy. Yep. And I uh, propose to the camera store to borrow the camera. I said to the camera store that I I uh, the thief just stole my camera for the third time. Uh, I don't have money now but i want to keep taking photo i have project can you let me a camera uh and then the the camera store the, the camera store is talk to his manager mm. and then okay uh this time i trust you i i give you the camera uh, please please pay this camera uh in six months so they they give me the camera body and they keep the the box on, right. on the store I think that's uh, it's yeah. I think it's still lucky. I still can have, I still can have. I, I still can take photograph at that time. Yeah, but oh, it's it's so uh, yeah. When I experience it, it's a really bad moment because oh, how come oh. I can? Oh, I frozen. <laughs> oh, with the camera. Oh man. <laughs> so Keep I cameras, so yeah. I brought four. Oh, so total I brought five D seventy Nikon camera. Three of okay, and then after a while I can I can I think I can grow uh, grow I can upgrade. Then I, until the two thousand ten yeah. when after I saw that uh, Enzo Ferrari and okay I define my uh, moment that I will be a photographer, my family get uh, quite get uh, big big disaster too. Oh yeah, what happened? There's uh, one of my close relatives is he did some trouble and what happened is quite like in a action movie, you know, when uh, uh, that my relative is uh, borrowing my name to have a loan to a bank oh, for no. quite large money. And then he also uh, informed uh, the address of my office to the bank. And then at that time, my relative is uh, is like got that big trouble, so he have to disappear. This this sounds like a the, yeah. the, a, a movie, yeah, yeah. action movie. Yeah, yeah. He he disappeared, oh, and man. he left he left a lot of uh, debt mm -hmm. to uh, not. Not so good people like the mob or something, wow. and because of the mob is the 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 address that mob know is my office, and the bank have uh, my name for uh, my relatives there, so my my office is surrounded by police and by mobs, <laughs> wow. and I was uh, I was kept in the center of my room. Uh, I think maybe almost un until 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, they asked me to, uh, where's your, where's your, where's this relative? Where, where did he go? 
and I don't know where where did he go until now. I don't I don't know where <laughs> where he go. He totally disappeared. So, yeah, yeah. So totally disappeared. Wow. And then after after that, my my office is guarded by. But I yeah, I think it's like a. Yeah, it's like a mob. Like a debt collector is guarding my office, so I, I so I cannot work at all. Mm. My my phone is ringing all of the the debt collector to ask where my relatives are. Yep. So uh, it's it's a very stressing moment. I'll, I'll be so but, stressed out uh, too. Man. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so some of the camera assets of the office I also sell to 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 solve the problem, right? So because of the, my name is on the bank and. Yeah, bank don't want to know who, yeah, what happened. So I I have to pay the debt that I uh, didn't take the money at all. <laughs> so at the time uh, it's so it's so hard. Uh, that's the second big moment that I experienced. That I think the world, uh, I think the sky doesn't want me to be a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so two major events that tell you no, but you still proceeded to become a photographer still. So hopefully the the the, the third event is the one that actually solidify your your position to continue photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 I survived. I think now it's it's yeah it's uh, uh I think luckily that that scary moment is has quite quite fast. I mm-hmm. think it's uh I think one year after that I can. I can survive. I can manage, and I can rebuild uh, my yeah. business. So I think at that time I, it's like I restarted, restarting again. Yeah. My network, all, all is gone. Uh, my employee also, some of the employee is already too scared to go to the office, right? Mm-hmm. So I have to, uh, yeah, already uh, scared, and then I uh, several of the employees I dismiss because of the safety of of their own. Yeah. So uh, at the time is there's uh, some running projects that haven't finished, so I have to finish all of the editing and uh, keep doing photo uh, by myself. <laughs> mm. Okay, Eric. Uh, so since just a yeah. second, uh, someone actually asks on uh, Facebook. Uh, Penry asks, uh, "How much was the amount owed by your relative?" Or is that a too yeah. huge a number? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite a lot. <laughs> it's big. It's big. It's a big number, yeah. It's making me stress. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, and, and there's uh, some some complicated uh, bad stuff happens, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, but uh, it it will be a very long story. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe you can share with me in uh, in private. <laughs> yeah. So so mm. then yeah. The the good thing is after two thousand and eleven, I can rebuild all. And the effect is after that moment, uh, my my work my working time is from four thirty a.m. in the morning to do editing to cover my past uh, employees mm-hmm. until uh, ten p.m. usually every day, wow. and it happened until now. <laughs> So at in the morning I do editing and then I take photo and go back home and editing again, and it's it happened yeah it, it happened un- until now now it's early morning is my inspiring moment it's mm-hmm. it's good I I starting to get used to it <laughs> <laughs> okay ah sorry for the long story <laughs> no worries no worries it was it was very captivating I think a lot of people enjoyed it. Um, Everyone's like saying amazing backstory, and, and this is like a it's an inspirational story in its own right as well. I feel. Okay, then. Okay, now now this is my works. Uh, this is my current works. Oh, that's nice. Finally, I get uh I get a chance to take this uh, car photo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but I still love uh. Not to, uh, if we work with uh, uh, advertisement or the the normal commercial thing, usually they want bright and uh, yeah, all all have to be bright and and follow the direction. Yeah. But I uh, and I also enjoy doing the photo that my own version, like like this one, like the Ferrari. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. It's give me more satisfaction. Yeah, this is also for my my food shop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is a commercial shop. Oh. Yeah, so I survive, and I'm. I think I'm still. Uh, still want to grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a photographer, and this is my uh, uh, architectural photo. Okay. Yeah, amazing. I mean, considering your backstory yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of people who have probably yeah. broken down by now and probably given up. You know, you you said it yourself. The universe or the guy up there is like telling you no twice already with, with photography, but you still decide to persevere. Um, could you maybe just elaborate a little bit more on why you decide to continue? I mean, is it is it a personal challenge or is it because that you want to defy? Um, you you don't want to listen to the guy up there. You just want to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh... I realized that I think I was built for photography. I cannot sell things. I cannot be a sales person. It's I'm I'm really bad at doing sales things, <laughs> and I think I cannot I cannot uh, do office work. And I think with photography, it it has a balance between doing my passion and make myself for a living. I think photography uh, have both sides. Yeah. And and if I look at my uh, when I was little and I, my passion for car, I think photography can brings me to meet my dream car. Mm. Faster. So, <laughs> yeah. So so speaking of uh, <laughs> dream cars, I mean uh, do you have anyone who inspires you to go with this choice of uh, genre for photography? Uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a lot, but I think the most uh, uh. photographer that... Uh, I think, I think uh, I'm a big fan of Jeff Ang. Mm, Jeff Ang. For my commercial work, for when, when I start my photography, I always look at Jeff Ang. Mm. He's he's he's, yeah, yeah. he's based in Singapore. For those of you who are wondering who Jeff Ang is, he's one of the most prolific commercial photographers in Singapore, and uh, he's he's really knowledgeable and he really well. You should see his works. He's crazy. <laughs> it's really epic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. For for I think for photography, I I look at I I look to Jeff Ang, but hmm. uh, but I also have so many names now. Now the good photographer is easily seen in Instagram, right? Hmm. And then, but. For my way of doing all the photography, uh, I think I've got a lot of the direction from Pak Warren. Oh, Pak Warren. Uh, when I move to Jakarta, what, when I don't know what to do, I usually go to Prima and ask Pak Warren. And uh, usually he, he yeah, he, uh, conversation that I think is a, it, it, get, it, it gives me a lot of uh, direction. Of what should I do in photography? So it's like my father, Prima is my parents, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to call them Prima family as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now that you've gone into uh, commercial photography, I mean like uh, doing architectural, automobile photography, food photography, and uh, even product photography as well for advertising. Um, is there any other genre of photography that you will actually want to try? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I, I, I'm preparing you this. I, I never shown this to other person, so... Oh. This is, I think, this is a special time. I think this is the right time to we're, show. <laughs> we're, we're the first ones to see this. I'm, I'm very honored. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, I think uh, automotive is my passion. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but to get uh, income, uh, to make it realistic, I think I, uh, food photography still brings me more than uh, automotive, and for architectural. What I like about shooting architectural is I can have a conversation with the architect. Usually, the architect have a lot of knowledge about composition and and design. So, so the 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 main genre is uh, that's the reason. Yeah. And then uh, the other genre that I, I do is this. This is a base of my my life as a photographer. Then I think it, my life is photography now. So I have a passion a lot. I always I, I used to bring camera everywhere and I, I always bring base one actually to wow. go anywhere. Although it's quite heavy, it's quite big, but uh, it pays a lot 
when uh, I found something good to take, mm-hmm. the satisfaction is I think it's irre- irreplaceable. Yeah. So uh, like this picture, uh, when I go to rural Kalimantan, to the northern Kalimantan, and uh, use boat, I use uh, I I keep uh, bring my face one, and when I shoot a, a racing motorcycle, I also I also use uh, the face one too. Why 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 insisting on a face one? I mean, like you you yourself say it's heavy, and now we're in a world where there's mirrorless cameras or even mobile phones, which are a lot lighter and more compact. Um, why do you still insist on on a medium format camera to carry around? Uh, I think I'm a bit addicted with the the image quality. You know, yeah. it's 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 very addictive. It's it's different. It's different. <laughs> the dimension is different. The satisfaction when when I saw again the picture in in my computer is. Oh, like like if I convert the picture to black and white, the dimension is so sort of different. Mm. Yeah, just a disclaimer, yeah, yeah, guys. I, I like the definition. <laughs> yeah, just a disclaimer, guys. This uh, this is not a sponsored post for by Phase One. It's just that Eric uses Phase One. Oh yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> this is a one way love from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's amazing. Now speaking of uh, yeah, yeah. uh of gear, uh, what do you actually have in your bag? I mean, like, uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you, you did say that you travel around quite a fair bit and you bring your face one camera. Is there anything else that... <laughs> this, this is a very funny photo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, before that, uh, this is my... Oh, uh, yeah, this is my work that I want to show you. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, this is the return. I, I think that there's so much fun in doing photography except my main uh, genre. And then uh, what I did is they have... Uh, this genre have a different idealism and purposes. Oh. So I think I, I like to keep doing it. Mm. So uh, my, my main genre is yeah, use it for for uh, for satisfying my passion and do for life. But I think this 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 kind of job also have a different kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I'm thinking is oh, this is my photo when I do workshop for pre imaging. It's oh, wow. totally not my delight, but I want to create something different. But I want to share that uh, in my mind, uh, I always tell me that I have to be different. I, I have to be different, although be different, I think is hard. But I think if we look at the effect or the future, I think if we being normal, it leads to much harder competition in the future, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the my first workshop for lighting. <laughs> it's wow. totally not, not a fine light at all. And I in, in my mind, I also uh, uh, want to create a jazz, jazzy photo, you know, a photo with a lot of in, improvisation and not pop, not not popular photo. Okay, this is yeah. uh, my photo. When, this is used by Face One in 2012, I think. This is uh, when my when I bring my daughter to the zoo and I um, found this peacock, so I just uh, uh, use my face one to shoot the peacock. And this is uh, this is the the job that I I also do, but I, but I think uh, I I cannot publish it. I cannot publish this work yet because it's it's uh, so different that uh, my main job usually do. I yeah. So uh, now the first time I tell you that I also do reproduction for wow. painting, and and luckily uh, I also get a quite nice client. Mm-hmm. Like like this painting is a uh, Indonesian government uh, private collection, and I take this photo in in three different Indonesian palaces. So uh, so I think it's a really good experience. To, to take this painting is really tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the painter is also legendary, and I think not. I think only a few people can get access to this one. How? Yeah, how I, I, I I did this. Uh, wow. What? How how did this happen? I mean, yeah, like yeah. Uh, from commercial photography, advertising photography, product and food. How how do you branch out into reproduction work? Uh, I think I think I just luck. <laughs> Some of my clients said, "Can you do reproduction?" Okay, when when I when I do, mm-hmm. they they look at the result. 
wow, you can you can do something like this. I think it's because of the face one and the brown because ah, <laughs> it's the it's the equipment. Of, uh, <laughs> but but uh, and then they uh, yeah yeah they they asked me to do sample shot and and they satisfied and I I never knew that the person is uh, have a connection to the government. Ah, yeah. Wow. So when when I do reproduction, mm. I, I I see that oh this is the this is one genre that not not many photographer will do it. Yep. And many people uh uh maybe they look at the reproduction is like a easy 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 job, but usually I think reproduction is a very complicated job because we have to. Uh, get the sharpness, get the accurate color. Just get uh, can can uh, create very flat image. Uh, so uh, in this reproduction, I think I I have to keep doing it because it is like a test my skill a lot mm -hmm. differently from my uh, usually daily job. And by doing this reproduction thing, I think it's also a force. Uh, I mean, using my equipment capability to the max. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's like like the the camera also push to to its boundary. The camera and uh, the lighting also we have to produce a really uh, flat uh, mm. monochromatic image, uh, and then the sharpness also have really sharp. And then when we do in the screen, we have to be able to as accurate as possible. So the monitor the the monitor, the camera, the lighting is pushed in this in this kind of photography. Yeah, uh, we've got some questions yeah. here. Um, Recipe asks uh, on Twitch, uh, how do you like a painting? I mean, like uh, you can see, it's very consistent and all that. Uh, the painting actually, I, I still don't understand the painting. Why it's good or why why it's bad? I still oh, no no no. Um, as in but, how how yeah, do you yeah. Light up, take the lights for. I mean, uh, oh, to 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 shoot. Oh, oh the light up. Yeah, how to light oh, up. Oh, the light to. Oh, okay. Uh, usually for reproduction, we have to create uh, almost no no shadow at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to create a one direction light that produce a really really flat image, and and for this kind of stuff. Uh, leaf shutter from phase one is really useful because we can eliminate all the color distortion from the ambient light. Yeah, and and the brown color light also the 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 color uh, the, the the color consistency from the brown color light also also pushed in here. Mm. So it it have to be flat but not flat, <laughs> and it has to be really really accurate focus. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, yeah, you know, it's, it's quite complicated. Yeah, yeah, it, it is, and and I agree with what Wesley said. Uh, Wesley on Twitch is saying that the uh, art reproduction is uh, the hardest type, one of the hardest type of photography work ever. And I have to agree. This this really yeah. takes a lot of care. You know, you can't afford to 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 have different colors when you're doing the the, the 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 shoot because your client would not be happy. <laughs> Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. I think I still I I have to keep doing this reproduction thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think from the knowledge from doing this reproduction, I can use it to to enrich my lighting knowledge to doing commercial shoot I think or my car shoot. Yeah. It's yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah yeah yeah. So this is the uh, untold story about me. <laughs> untold story. This is like an exclusive on an amazing live show. This is a uh, first time you're sharing these shots, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and so then, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 but but yeah, yeah, but I haven't published it because it's too different. I thought mm. uh, it makes me not not special <laughs> oh, <laughs> if no, I publish no. it. It's it's too diverse. You you'll be surprised at what happens next. You know, <laughs> uh, and then this is uh, one kind of genre that uh, I think is not a genre, but I usually uh, get some uh, projects from the person that wants to submit to award usually uh, yeah. Eric I want to enter this award can you shoot for me like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so in this so in this type of photography I think this is the 
the moment when where I cannot bring myself to the photographer to the, to the to the photography. I have to be transparent. I have to unseen. The photo have to be the person, right? Not not mm. not me. So I think this is also the different different way to learn photography. <laughs> yeah. How to how to uh, like let let the photo speak, not the photographer, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So I think it, this is also the 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 different kind of training I I I did, and I'm quite proud that. Uh, I think uh, most of the person that uh, creates this type of photo also won won the award. So I'm I'm also proud, although I cannot show myself. <laughs> yeah. So and then, oh, and then I also do something like this. Mm -hmm. I do other person portfolio. Yeah. This is also special assignment. This is also when I have to be transparent. Mm -hmm. I do all the printing. I do all the design and the art directing. Wow. Like this one for the architect. So I designed the, the cover has to be like this. I usually custom the the design. So I take photo, I uh, after I take photo, I uh, adjust the color and then I uh, design the whole books. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this, oh, this is video. This, this is beautiful. So, uh, so many times uh, it's also not only one types of photo like art, only architectural or not. But sometimes they want to, okay, make a story, mm -hmm. make a fine art photo, make all the photos that you require for the books. <laughs> I so I do all kind of photo to create the books for so them. You're <laughs> like, a, like an all in one package. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all in one package. <laughs> and I think. I'm great that it it show that the clients uh, trust me a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and the fact that you yeah. mentioned uh colors so many times, I mean, like I, I'm very curious to know about your workflow, um, because you 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 did mention that you are always going for the most accurate colors. That's why you invest in equipment as well. Um, you said more colors were very helpful. Phase one camera is very helpful. Uh, a lot of people are probably wondering like. How else do you go into like you know post production side? The, the how's the workflow like to ensure the color accuracy is always uh, prominent? Oh, uh, I find I, I discovered so many trouble. Mm. Uh, I think two years ago, two two years two years. Uh, uh, I think since oh sorry, before two thousand eighteen, mm -hmm. I always have big trouble to to create uh, this uh, product and then the problem solved when uh, I met City. City <laughs> from I met uh... it's all solved. <laughs> C C C now my life as a photographer is much much easier. City <laughs> <laughs> Rohana from from Azo, I suppose. Yeah yeah yeah. I yeah. hope I hope City. <laughs> yeah, her, if she's watching right now, uh, hi City. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, she's my savior. No savior. <laughs> why? Why is she your savior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because after after ASO come to mm -hmm. and I applied ASO to my workflow, the color error is reduced drastically. I think it's almost one hundred percent. Uh, I only need one time test print and then that's it. One time Before test print. Or I I need. Yeah, yeah. Only one time test print, and then that's it. I can I can direct the the printer to to follow because because it's already uh, the the standard the the accurate standard, right? Mm -hmm. So before when I'm using uh, the my previous monitor, uncalibrated, uh, we don't know which which standard is is correct, right? The printer or me? <laughs> that's true. So 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 go back. Uh, the printer said, "Oh no, your color is wrong." No, I think your color is wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> no so arguments. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so, some printer also also needs it. It needs a long time because I have to do test print a lot of times mm -hmm. since it's okay. Oh, the test print is gone. <laughs> ah, <laughs> one time. One and time. So for for printing wise, you always go to a printing shop, or do you have your own printer and you print by yourself? Uh. I I haven't get uh, enough courage to do my own printing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think now uh, I will trust my 
printing to William, I think. <laughs> William, William Sutanto, who was here on a few episodes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so um, yeah, yeah. right now, uh, can you just describe briefly your, your post-processing uh, methods? Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I, I will uh, make this quick. This is also a special project that I cannot. S special project. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is this is for police chief police uh, Indonesian police officer. <laughs> wow. So 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 I I take the photo in their headquarter and then, uh, and then I get uh, like access to do. I think it's kind of rare rare job. It's it's a bit terrifying for me, but wow. I think it's it. It's good. It's good. It 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 tests me all of from all of my things like my skill is tested, how my personality is tested, how my workflow is tested. Usually, they usually wants all can be done very very quick, right? Wow. <laughs> so this is like a big test. Yeah, this is a uh, this is the one special assignment that uh, I've got. I think mm -hmm. two or three years ago. Ah, from this from this picture, I think I can tell you that. Uh, I think this will explain the my uh, workflow workflow. Yeah. Uh, I usually do editing also by myself. I think ninety percent of my work I also uh, edit by myself. Uh, for editing process, I think it's a it's a time it's a really good time for me to evaluate my shoot my preview shot. Right? If I do the shoot uh, bad, mm -hmm. it bring me a lot of that time when I'm doing edit, right? So, oh, how, uh, the, the lighting is not tidy. To edit is so hard. Mm. Okay, so this is also I edited. I uh, I will show you the 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 the, the original one. This is already edited. This right. is before. So when the chief police officer asked me to take uh, his project photo, I think please take the mosque. Uh, I I take photo uh, on Monday. On Thursday, uh, he wants the photo is already in the form of book, and he wants to give it to the. I think at that time is the, the highest rank of police Indonesian police, so there's no tolerance in, uh, produce it produce it late right. Yeah. So when when I write is like this. All of the mosque is filled with the construction. Oh uh, man! Construction. <laughs> wow! So it's half done. It's half done. Oh, how, man. How, how in four days I have to edit? Uh, oh my god! Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So from this to this. <laughs> so, so you have to clone out everything manually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's edited manually. It because there's no time to wait. For this uh, oh building to finish, God. so the building is finished in yeah. on the Saturday. But the previous Thursday, the books is already have already done because the books will be used by the uh, yeah the the highest rank of Indonesian police. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's clean. It's clean. It's the magic <laughs> of Photoshop, and I think the magic of of keep training. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you, you surprised after me after all these years. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you surprised me. I, I didn't expect them to actually have the construction scaffoldings and all that, but you, you actually have to meticulously pay attention to the details and Photoshop them all out one by one. That That's just a, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> so Guys, I you... wake up at 3... Yeah, I, I, at, at the time, I wake up at 3.30 a.m. Oh, God. And I keep editing. I sit all the time until, I think, 10, half past 10 in the evening. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and then, yeah. that, that's... Yeah, Eric, you you amaze me, man. That that's amazing. <laughs> that's a yeah. That's a special project. I think mm. yeah, the special project always mm. requires special effort. Yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it it can bring a good story later. <laughs> yep. Yep. But while doing it, it's not. Yeah, it's it's a lot of pain and oh, suffering. Oh, and then, it, and Jack, that I've done I, I, and. Uh, also uh, lucky in, in this type. I also do portrait. Hmm. Uh, okay, and luckily I oh. I get a special project from this person. Mm -hmm. This is a professor from Kyoto University. He is he's uh now he's already retired. He's a he's a direct student of Ansel Adam. Oh wow. 
and then he's a pinhole photographer. He 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 do a lot of pinhole. Mm. And then he he is the one that develop develop a paper texture for our gummy paper. If you you so I I get this. Uh, I'm I I met this uh, this professor. Uh, I also I I, uh, I also introduce uh, him to Power and also and Power and him is have a nice relationship now. <laughs> oh wow, that's good. So so I feel very lucky because I I think uh, this is the first time he 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 took his own photo by other photographer. Oh. So I think it's 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 really an honor for me to do this portrait. For, for 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 him. So so it's actually a, a series yeah, of portraits. Photo. Yeah. I hope you like it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I, yeah. I hope you like it. I hope it's it's good enough. No, this is fantastic, dude. No, <laughs> don't don't be <laughs> tom. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Yeah. This is uh, this this is you. This is using one only one one one, light. one brown color one brown color light with mm -hmm. standard reflector and this this is the first time i try a uh, zeiss lens i try new lens mm -hmm. to do this kind of shot and after after the shoot is finished the the person said to me eric now i'm i can relax because when i die i already have photo oh, man. <laughs> what that, that, <laughs> why that... did you say that <laughs> <laughs> but i, I think he, he, he me <laughs> but, yeah i think it's terrifying but i think he he regards your work with such high honors you know and then like uh th this is this is something that he would like to keep as an eternal keepsake for people to remember him by i think it's, it's a huge honor yeah, yeah but yeah yeah but i think he, sh he should tell me a uh, lighter lighter things <laughs> <laughs> but th this is this is like too heavy yeah <laughs> too heavy for you <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, the, the word that he said is too serious <laughs> yeah too serious <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. One, this is also the portraits. Oh, that's brilliant. In portrait, also, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hope it's good enough. <laughs> oh, dude, it's friend, fantastic. See, see, this is what I mean, guys. When when I say that Eric is is so humble beyond the fault, that that he always say you know all this, but his works are so fantastic, right? Okay, oh. and then I think the last one is, uh, I I haven't told many people about this but there's a uh, one building in south kalimantan that collects all of my artwork in their building mm -hmm. so this this is the building in south kalimantan yeah it's a timber factory uh he wants me to fill uh, okay. eric uh do uh all kind all photos that you want i want you to fill my building with your photo and then so uh he i think it's a one almost two years project yeah so this is the building so yeah yeah all of the the alley is uh produced by me and and all of uh, uh all and all of artwork is i have the signature and i have to put uh one of one collection exclusively ex exclusively for for him wow wow so 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 he said to me that Eric, this is your gallery. You can tell anyone that this is your gallery. <laughs> wow. I would love to visit this place one day. So the big photo is this, I think. It's in South Kalimantan. South Kalimantan. So, so uh, I take the camera. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. This is also, I bring my face on and I walk around the, I walk around the, the forest. I walk around the city. So, at the time, I don't want to create uh, like a landscape photo, like like, mm -hmm. like the one that uh, a quiet light or a, a photo salon like that. I want to create a, a bit. Uh, I hope it can contain some fine arts in in that. Yeah. So, uh, this one is luckily I found this one. This is the unfinished construction bridge, and the uh, on on the the it it like an arrow, right? Mm -hmm. And luckily, if the error points exactly to the factory, <laughs> oh, so I think this is a luck. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I put this on the on, on their front office, and oh, this time, nice. and this one is inside their factory. 
I, this this photo is I inspired by Andrea Gursky, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. The the most expensive photo. Yeah, yeah. It, this one is uh, inspired by him. I want I want to create almost almost similar. similar. Yeah. 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 So that is the series. Okay. <laughs> this this is brilliant. So I think that the yeah 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 the the other the under the other project that I usually don't tell because it's it's. I cannot tell because it's too different that my yeah from my usual job. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, I can see that you know, it's it's a very stark difference. Like uh, you you did mention that uh, this is making your portfolio too diverse and it's a cause of concern and I, and I can understand why, but I think I think you should put them out there, man. It's, it's just crazy good stuff. Okay, let's let's hear from you. Your your gear list. This is something that that always astounds me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is my uh. Yeah, I think this is if if I put it into a timeline, I think this is like this. When I uh, in an elementary school, my mm-hmm. parents give me a camera like this, what was like James Bond camera. You can oh, see. You still have it. Be folded. <laughs> yeah, and then and then and then and then the 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 film magazine also have a unique. It's like a cassette, you know. <laughs> yeah. And does it yeah. still work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it still work. It oh, still wow. work. It's very mechanic. But but I think to find the film is already. It's already very hard. Mm. The the shape is like a two circle, and then there's there's the one. That's so bar. old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is my equipment, and I I put that I I brought I, and I I put the D seventy a uh, fourth time D seventy D seventy D seventy D seventy. Because uh, the first tree was stolen, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so painful to to hear. I'm I'm really sorry about those those three cameras. But I guess I guess it really helps with your your journey. You know, uh, it pushes you yeah, to yeah. to 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 carry on with photography because you did not stop there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think at the time I feel that God slapped me. Don't be a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> and then hit me twice. Don't be a photographer. And then the third is don't be a photographer. <laughs> And for Hong, because like, uh, it's okay, Rick. You you just carry on. You you're a good photographer, <laughs> so you just say like go. Yeah, maybe now. Okay, just do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. But okay. uh, you can yeah, yeah. you can see there's a huge yeah. jump in in gear, and you know probably the audience at home is probably like thinking that uh this this gear, um, evolution, if I can call it that. It, it it really is a major jump, especially from your Nikon days, from D seven hundred, suddenly boom, phase one medium format, and then your lighting and your even a monitor. So I can see that it's a premium brand. You know, it I I is it possible to say that yeah, it's an ASO monitor, right? So is it possible to say that uh the the gear and equipment that you use actually help you with your your photography journey? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think uh, from my previous uh, untold work, I mm-hmm. think all, all of the work is requires this this capability, right? This equipment is uh, the works need the capability of this equipment a lot, right? Yeah. The quality, the the sharpness, the the light, the the color accuracy. It 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 really needs it needs a lot. Mm-hmm. So I think yeah 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 yeah. It's, I I think I cannot do reproduction without without this four uh, this this three lah. I think the, the camera, the lighting, and this monitor. I think this the, those three is or mm. that that can make the workflow flawless. Right? It can be done perfectly because of this three equipment. Yeah, I mean, I, previously you shared that uh you had a lot of test printing done. Um, is it because back then you didn't have the ISO monitor and you you couldn't get accurate colors of your screen? And that's why you had so many test prints after test prints, and you wasted a lot of time going back and forth. Just now you shared. So now with the ASOMOTA, is yeah. it different? Is it like one shot, one kill kind of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but I think I still have to learn more. I think I want to learn more for 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 the ASO camera mm-hmm. and for the ASO monitor because I don't know. Uh, I think I there's still a lot to learn. Yep. Oh, this is also. Uh, I think this one quite a good story about oh, yeah, ASO. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is for ASO monitor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is uh what happened when I once. Uh, this is my first approach to advertising, uh, to to the agency, that I want to get a car job. Yeah. Okay, so I bring this portfolio with confidence with my result at that time. I confidence go to that office. 
Hmm. Okay, I want to present my portfolio. Okay, please uh, do presentation. And then they, uh, I have to plug my uh, laptop to their projector, right? Yeah. So when I see this picture in my previous monitor, it's already perfect from my version, right? It's clean. It's the the edit is already well done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, okay, I want to show this. I think this one can boom. They can give me a job at that time. Wow. But what happened is when when the when the picture shown. When the picture shown on the projectors, what happened is this. <laughs> oh, you see the, the edges. See? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god. So the agency see. So it, so the agency saw that my oh, edit yeah. is not too clean, right? Yeah. <laughs> can, so can, uh, it's a. I think it's a uh, can the audience see this? Can, <laughs> can you guys who are watching the live stream now? Can you see the the edges? I mean, I, unless you can't see, I just put an arrow, the cursor. So you can see that the the aging of the masking is still prominent and this was actually presented before the actual client and um yeah yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh it, my I, god I, 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 I didn't get the job i didn't oh, get yeah. the job <laughs> and then the agency said you know eric uh uh from uh, uh now i tell you photographer is not important digital artist is more important for me now <laughs> <laughs> oh man what were you wow i, I feel very crushed for you yeah, yeah it's, but 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 I think it's a, it's a it's a yeah I think it's nice experience. So I wish I, I wish I knew City before I met this agency. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but but my my heart goes out to you, man, for for this job. But I I guess you know everything happens for a reason. Um, and yeah. this actually made you want to look out for for something that can help your workflow even better, right? So yeah, yeah, but. but yeah. <laughs> So this was uh, one of the major but, but, issues. Yeah. Hmm. I also I also realized I think I I learned this from when when I use my ASO. This hmm. is uh happened because we have a uh, like a uh, different bit thing, right? But our camera have a lot of bit, but the monitor only have eight bit. There's a different bit that that can something like this occur. Yeah. Sorry. So Eric. I think. Yep. I think uh, we can't see your, your screen. We still see the car. Uh, do you change to another slide? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Still, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We see picture. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, from, yeah, from the equipment, I also learned a lot more from, from ASO. I learned something from phase one. I learned something from Bunker. Also, I learned a lot about lighting also. So, I think it's uh, like, it's like my trophy. It's like a mutual relationship for me to use the equipment. Yeah. Like equipment also teach me a lot for my works. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. right now, uh, as a professional photographer, seeing accurate true colors of your work even before starting on post processing is vital. I mean, you just shared what in a practical sense, like what would happen if your colors or your details are not done properly and you didn't manage to preview them correctly on a properly calibrated monitor. Um, yeah. When you actually started using the ASO monitor for the first time, right? This is actually when you first unbox it and you set it up. When you look at your previous yeah. photos, what was the thing that you realized? I realized that I have to re-edit all of my portfolio. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh when ASO God. monitor come, oh shit! I have to all of my, uh, I just I realized that all of my photo is not clean. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in in the dark. Uh, and uh, dark radiation and the white radiation area, uh -huh. it shows defects a lot. I think the ASO monitor is honest, right? It shows it shows the real thing, and I realized that my previous monitor it's, it 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 show I think it show two two good thing. <laughs> the monitor doesn't show the bad thing. <laughs> ah, I see. Which which is vital. I mean, con considering that you're going for accuracy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And and it it's also short. Yeah, it shortened the workflow a lot. I think. Wait, I I want to ask you a very quick question. I mean, like, uh, since you were using the previous monitor before you use the ASO monitor, um, of course we're not gonna say the brand of the other monitor. But just out of curiosity, did you calibrate the previous monitor, um, prior to sending for print? Mm, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it because you forgot oh, to? Oh, oh. Or? Oh, 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 when, when in my previous office, when, when my employees also, when, when, when my employees still a lot, mm -hmm. uh, usually there's a 
the printer in my in my town uh, sending some person to calibrate my monitor oh okay so so they calibrate for yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the printer calibrates the monitor for me. But when I change to this monitor, this is uh, uh, the M thing. It's a very beautiful monitor. The build is nice. The speaker is really have a really good sound. It's it, I, I, I never think that the that monitor is not acu accurate enough, right? Oh. I think it's already quite accurate, so I don't, I don't recalibrate it again. And then you, you learn that the hard way, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the which which monitor are you using now? I mean, by by Azo. I'm using the two seven CG two seven TO. Ah, the the one with the self calibration unit. We we can be very good friends because I have one. Well, I don't have it here in my room right now. It's outside, because I I also do my work in other parts of my house. But uh, this one there's a self calibrating device and it really helps because like. Maybe for you and my, okay for me, I'm quite lazy to take out my external calibrator to to do calibration every <laughs> single time, right? But um, I don't know about you, okay. but that's how I am. But now with this monitor, it can just calibrate by itself. It's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and and, and it's, it's all always pleasing to see the monitor calibrate itself. You know. It's yeah, so yeah. Hard, so <laughs> it's not <it's> hands. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like magic, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's magic. Oh, and usually I think the monitor has a uh, cell auto schedule the calibrate right yeah yeah usually when i in the like in the afternoon and oh, okay I, I will take a power nap for a bit when <laughs> i woke up the screen already show your uh, 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 the self calibration already done right yeah. <laughs> or when i when i have my lunch it's already done oh, wow the monitor prepares for me <laughs> yeah exactly so there's no more excuses you know like uh being lazy is one of the problems i have um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm very very yeah I, I I back in the past I used to have a I think a spider spider cal I can't remember the exam a spider pro four or something like that and I always either forget yeah. or I'm too lazy to calibrate and then after that when, <laughs> when you know I thought my monitor is yeah, yeah. good enough then after that when I sent for print I, I I mean I still have the photo book I actually printed something else for my client and it was too dark yeah. and I think it's got some part same problem as yours can see the edging of the masking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 I think yeah. I, I, I also found the printing problem. Usually, it's too dark. Yeah, yeah. When I use the previous one, it's always too dark. Too dark. When I light it, light light it up, usually it's become a, a bit pale. It's yeah. like a, there's a fog. Yes. Yeah, you cannot get the exact exact uh, good color. Yeah, your color and tonality all run off. It's no longer the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so I, I I heard the importance of monitor in your show with. James time before. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. James, James is watching right now actually. He says that Nathan is one of the most important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, what so James always stop. say, right? Um, when it comes to monitors, it's like a musical instrument. If you don't tune your musical instrument, you play your trumpet or you play the piano or even um, guitar, for example, and, and the music just doesn't yeah. flow anymore. People will hear, oh, look at that, it's not tuned properly. So for a monitor, it's the same. If you don't calibrate your monitor your colors will not be correct and then when you send for print that's it problem yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so <laughs> agree, agree. Yeah. so now that you have the the, the monitor the, the iso color h cg2730 um how has it helped you your workflow uh yeah it helps a lot it helps it's it it helps a lot oh and then i think uh yeah fall of my stuff that i do it it requires color accuracy a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And what I did, uh, now I can explain and I can, uh, I have a good answer for my clients if mm -hmm. they complain me about the, about the color, right? So, yeah. so what I do is like this. So when I send the files to them, mm -hmm. like, like, like in my previous project, when I shoot for DBS Bank for, for this uh, car, I usually send the files with the information about oh. about the about about how the files uh, done in what color space, and then I put some description that you shouldn't check, or you shouldn't complain about the color when you check my photo on your phone, or when you check my photo on your LCD screen because it's it's not accurate. So so I, now uh, since the ASO come, I I always do something like this when I when I send my result. So so it uh, so 
uh, yeah, I think it's really shorten the the workflow a lot. Hmm. It reduce the printing error and then it reduce the complaint about color from my client, <laughs> <laughs> which is which is very why important. Is right? yellow, why is still wait 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 where 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 did you see the photo <laughs> on my LCD screen? Oh no 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 trust trust mine trust mine. <laughs> I already tell you I calibrated in the accurate monitor. <laughs> do, do, do you get uh do you get clients who who still don't believe you and insist that you know your colors are are wrong? Uh yeah 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 sometimes it's but but with this it uh, yeah it, it's now it's only smaller number. Mm, mm. Sometimes it's uh so but so because I think uh my my way of uh I think what what we talk if photographer with photographer it have a special language right yeah but if if we talk to clients usually we still have to educate we we still have to speak in their language like they they mm. they won't know what color space it is they won't know why the calibrated monitor is yes, and it, even even how megapixel the camera is yeah they usually don't understand it well right that this light is so accurate like that they they won't understand so i think uh, we we still have to educate we still have to uh, give information to our client yeah So I think it will bring a good effect for the industry, also. I think. Yes, it does. I mean, like uh, a a lot of times we we always encounter problems with clients because they they don't understand our language or, uh, they don't understand why we do things a certain way, like maybe workflow wise and all that. Um, like re- recently, even for myself, you know, because uh, some most of the clients that I work with, uh, they tend to open JPEG files on Windows Viewer and. Windows Viewer is a preview app that doesn't take into account your ICC profile. So wherever you, you open up, everything the color is always wrong. <laughs> so it's, it it was very yeah. bad. <laughs> and so they say that uh, your yeah. picture is uh your picture is too blue. And I said no on my accurate screen. It's it's just nice, you know. Uh, so you're trying to compensate yeah, yeah. something like that. So I said okay. Uh, don't worry. Um, maybe. I can bring the monitor down and show you if you want, you know. <laughs> then they said, "Oh no, actually, actually should be okay." So I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll just warm it up a bit." But the uh, the very fact that you sh- you actually show me this, how you you guarantee your clients the colors are accurate based on the color space that you use with which monitor, it actually inspires confidence with the clients, and you are actually educating them. And then I realized, I feel you're actually educating me also, like how to communicate better with my clients, so they understand that. We are working on proper color calibrated workflow, and the uh, images are already there, already, and I don't have to convince them any further. I think I think this is a fantastic way of 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 sharing with the clients. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like uh, giving them a uh, like color certificate, like yeah, it's like like color <laughs> certificate. That's right. This is to because certify yeah, yeah. your photos it's are already accurate. calibrated. Yes, yes. We already put effort so much uh, in the color. Yeah. <laughs> so um. In in this entire workflow, I mean, you already described your lighting, your camera, and even your monitor. Um, the one thing that I want to ask you is, uh, uh, what software do you use? I'm pretty sure a lot of people say, oh, this is part of your entire, um, what do you call that, weapons system. <laughs> weapons, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like a weapon of arsenal. Of course, the one is the must. <laughs> mm. Okay, now I think oh, for every- me now it's really <laughs> time to do photography. Yeah. Because the camera is have a good technology, right? The yes. lighting also have a good technology. It's getting smaller. It's more mobile, and, and then a lot of feature. Yep. And also the software. Yes. And from the camera side, I like how Face One put the advanced tools in their camera, mm-hmm. like in the IQ Four. Is like the oh I the 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 exposure plus feature is really amazing. It's like, it's like the dynamic range is not, it's not uh, yeah the the dynamic range fifteen stop dynamic range is so old right? Yeah. <laughs> With the exposure plus, like you have a fifteen on the top and a uh, fifteen fifteen on the highlight and fifteen on the shadows, on the shadow right? Yeah. It, it's really good and then the focus stacking also really really easy to use and then the frame averaging is awesome. Oh, the IQ four. And then. Yeah, the IQ4 is wait, so, wait. Eric, so Eric, amazing. Sorry, yeah. can you go back to the yeah. previous image? I, I just want to share a little bit of a story. This image, I remember you did this right in front of me at Prima. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. using your camera. Your camera is yeah. so dirty. You know? <laughs> this is my camera, right? <laughs> so <laughs> many dust. <laughs> this is my camera. It's so yes. dirty. <laughs> this is a uh, good memories. Thank you for sharing. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering how this was shot, this was actually shot with a uh, two mirrors, right, and a camera. Was yeah, it two yeah, mirrors or three? Yeah. Yeah. So this entire okay, thing okay. is not Photoshop. It's it's really just one shot of a photo of one face one camera taken with another face one camera. And all of those reflections you see are there as per normal. Then after that, he did a focus stacking. So that's why the shots inside the mirrors are just as sharp. And when I saw him do it live, I was like, oh, wow, Eric, <laughs> this is crazy stuff. Yeah, I think this is the about... Uh, because when, when you bring... This is when the Infinity Platform launch right infinity yes. platforms like oh infinity phase one <laughs> yeah infinity phase one that's right it's a iq4 series back then yeah rich, rich man on infinity phase one so <laughs> <laughs> but this is crazy i i love this shot yeah it's clean it's clean yes yes, <laughs> clean yes, it is. yes it is. Okay, so you, you did mention something about software. So let's hear more about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah sorry, go back. This is the lighting, right? Uh -huh. uh, oh, sorry, this is the lighting. We, we can uh, adjust the lighting easily to create a lot of stuff. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> That's the video. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's a bit time story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, I always tell the people that now don't only take the photo and then that's it. I think now taking photo is not in, not enough because there's a lot more fun in developing RAW, especially because the RAW processing software is getting more advanced and easy to use. Capture mm -hmm. one, capture one. Yeah. <laughs> so like this, in capture one, right? This is, oh. Uh, this is I I've done in Prima mm. in the uh, production uh, workshop. Yep. And and you see that the the background is dirty. The background is dirty. It can easily clean up with a healing brush oh, in wow. chapter one. And mm. then it can easily select it with the color editor, right? Mm -hmm. It's all oh, this technical learn from you. And then and then uh, yeah, we can easily change change it create a mask and then we can create a creative effect without touching the photoshop it's only done in the uh, pro software and imagine how good the quality of the files if we done this editing in uh, capture one in the raw processing software we have a uh, still full quality of the image yep okay i think this is the oh this is the Shot that I've done. This is the demo I use. Uh, so this one, uh, I want to show the uh, before how how the image can be repaired easily with Capture One. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this shot is done with the wrong white balance in the tungsten light, so it's, it's very yellowish. It's low speed. Okay, so I can adjust the white balance easily. It still produce a not not distorted, and I can recover the shadow. Yeah, still uh, finding the, the good color to make it more vibrant, and still without using the saturation slider, so the color is not uh, not not too saturated. And this one I use e stone for the products and usually the key stone is used for the architectural right so this one is also useful in product. Yeah. I can get a, a perfect shape of this uh, perfume bottle. So I I also like this feature, the Luma curve. Mm -hmm. okay. It's amazing. And the Luma Luma range is also wow. Oh, that's amazing. This one, I try to make a variant. 
Okay. So this one is like how drastic and how easy and how fast this one can be done. And for the next shoot, it automatically can be adjusted. So if Capture One can make you look a lot more professional in front of the client. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Like the magic shot. Uh, uh, Especially when you, you shoot good. tether, right? It's, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's amazing. So so everything is color managed from the beginning. I mean like you use uh accurate lighting, accurate camera with good sensors and uh, and, and proper sixteen bit workflow throughout and it culminates even the software also can read the the raw files perfectly fine. And eventually you actually have a, a proper display that that shows a proper clean output, so you you wouldn't have any more problems with colors anymore. Yeah, and and what I like is capture. I think capture one base is so diligent. You know, it's it worked really hard because they put the database of the lens, mm -hmm. <laughs> so so we don't have to have trouble with the lens distortion because they already have a profile for certain lens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just uh take a look at the chat box for a while. Um, someone asked about some previous episodes, so this is something I need to share with you guys. Um, now previously I was not on the Twitch, uh, what do you call it, Twitch affiliate program. Um, so any videos that were update up, uh, sorry, hmm. any streams that were done, they were not automatically saved. So what happens is that I need to actually download it and re-upload it, but unfortunately I didn't know about that. So all the previous streams after fourteen days they were considered expired. So automatically they were deleted by by Twitch. But from now onwards, um, any of the videos that we do here on live stream, um, now that I'm a Twitch affiliate, I can actually highlight it and re-upload it directly and export it to YouTube. So I do have a YouTube channel now with all the past episodes. Um, moving forward. Of course, you know, some of the episodes which are lost are totally lost and I really hope I can revisit those uh, topics again, but uh, that's something for another time. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Anyway, uh, for those of you guys who have any questions with regards to Eric in terms of uh, his his uh, workflow, in terms of the equipment that he uses, um, feel free to just write in the chat box and I'll try to address them for, for Eric as well. Or rather, I try to uh, read the questions and post them to Eric so Eric can answer them. All right? Okay, okay. Yes, Eric. Yeah, sorry about that. So, um, this is also Capture One. <laughs> all this in Capture One. Yeah, this is also Capture One. Like oh, wow. this is a simple food shot. Yeah, this is like enhance, enhance a bit. I I think for for the reason why photographers like us prefer Capture One is because the the we are still working in raw files, right? <clears throat> you don't even have to go yeah, yeah, and yeah. round trip to to any other third party software, and that actually creates um, you know, what do you call it? It it keeps the 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 the, the quality of the images like. Through its source, true to its source. Um, yeah. I've got good news to share with you. The upcoming patch, I'm not sure if you've seen the, the beta or the, 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 the preview video by David Grover and uh, Alexander Fleming, but uh, they're going to make some major improvements to the, the quality of life in terms of usage for Capture One. Uh, we're going to have new healing tools, we're going to have a new before and after slider, and that will actually hopefully <laughs> help you your workflow even more. Yeah, Eric, do you hear me? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 I have you. I have you. <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so that is coming very soon. So um, now talking a little bit about color management, uh, do you have any advice to fellow photographers on color management? Uh, I think like James Tan said, the <laughs> monitor is one of the most important thing in the workflow. <laughs> yes, I agree. I think because the camera has a, a very big yeah, the camera have a very big amount of color data, right? And then the this monitor can show a lot. Uh, like like in this uh, like row from sixteen bit, we can convert it into proper to RGB or adult RGB or on the smaller RGB. But the result is have a different also. Uh, yeah, have have yep. different color space, right? Yes. I think this is the the shortest way. Yeah. So it's it's like an eye, it's like an eye for the whole process. <laughs> mm. And without it, we'll probably get a lot of errors in terms of output. Yeah, yeah. So so what would you advise? Okay. Let's say for example, you have a, a a new photographer who just joined, or rather has is trying to get his feet wet in uh, advertising photography. So, in terms of color management, what kind of advice can you offer him or her? 
cooler management. I think yeah, yeah I think yeah more before I, I never realized that monitor is one of the important thing for itself. I I think I first used ISO monitor after I do 14 years in industry. <laughs> and then in the year 15 I just realized that oh monitor is the most important thing too. <laughs> I think I think both of us so are the same boat. <laughs> But I think this is the, what what I think about the industry for mm -hmm. the photographer. Like I, I think now uh, being good is already not good enough. I think mm, yeah because because now the information mm -hmm. is is yeah we we can we get a lot of massive information every day every second we get massive information to find the good photo is and or finding someone better than me the new is so easy right even the even our relatives is also photographer now <laughs> before they eat they shoot the camera. photo they, they they all put photographer <laughs> the competition is really high <laughs> the true, true. yeah the competition is really really tough and really high so mm -hmm. i think we have to we have to be more always be more than other i think now for being photographer 100 percent photographer is already not enough i think we have to 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 enhance with with maybe with the equipment with the technology adapting new technology or uh, uh, more uh, have a own character a strong character I think like that hey stop being a photographer now be prepared <laughs> <laughs> yeah have a lot of uh, passion, passion, a lot of passion and passion. <laughs> Patience and passion. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally love this quote that you're sharing with us right now. The more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know by Albert Einstein. It's It really yeah. rings true to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This this one also the words that I usually use for my end when I do some workshop. Mm -hmm. So. So usually after this, I'll the attendee that if I do something wrong, please, please don't judge me because Einstein also realized that the more you learn, you the more you don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. If Einstein can say that, so can we. <laughs> please forget my error. <laughs> Just remember the good one. I, I think the most important thing is that we learn from our mistakes and then we move on and try to make things better and uh, improve over time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If if, if even uh, let's say. Um, let's say uh, what do you call that uh, evolution wise you know you, you did mention that uh, now everybody is uh, able to pick up a camera and become a photographer um, whatever works in the past for yourself you also have to come up with new ways and reinvent yourself and make yourself a, a, a step ahead of in front of the rest of the photographers or out there in the competition I mean so uh, yeah. let's let's just take a look at the chat box again I think some folks are asking questions uh, James asks Eric, how do you develop your creative styling sense? Okay. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> do you get inspiration uh, from movies, from other photographers or or other works? Yeah, yeah. I think we I think we can find a lot of uh Usually the creativity is a bit, a bit, uh, the curve of creativity is become flat if, if we do it uh, too, too often, right? Like, like our daily job. So I think uh, uh, I usually do something differently in photography. So I think I can find a different way to execute uh, my job. And I think I also get a lot of inspiration from movie. There's there's a there's a so much a really good uh, a movie director that that the that the angle how they shoot is really really nice. Mm -hmm. And also from the video game. Now the video game is really really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, now it's 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 really uh easy to find the inspiration like from behind network or from pinterest mm -hmm. but but i think the output is never take the first never take the first 
thing that inspires you, but I, because you have to uh, think by yourself to find some things that uh, hasn't been there before, like create a, a different different thing like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. Yeah, I also a bit confused. <laughs> yeah. What creativity is <laughs> I think I think I think it, it, the world is a huge place, so there's always other rooms for for creativity, uh, inspiration. Like uh, maybe even comics also could be helpful. Um, you know, anything that that allows to for a visual representation of an idea can be something that can be yeah. used as a uh, inspiration for photography. Um, Rasafi asks Eric, you showed a video earlier. How has video affected your work? Oh okay, uh, I shoot video because of the, uh, oh I I have I have a, a certain story about video too. Mm-hmm. I I think the video now is like the unavoidable to to do because I experienced that I think two years ago mm-hmm. when almost uh most of my clients is a bit surprised with the change of the media right. Before they printed, they they make catalogs. They print for advertisement. I think t- two years ago, uh, they found that the Instagram is much more effective. Digital media is much much more effective. So and then uh, the percentage of how people reach the advertisement also f- video advertisement or mm-hmm. the moving advertisement uh, reach much more than the still one right yeah. so the so the the client oh, most of most of my client asked me and can you make a video i don't want to make a photo please make a video <laughs> oh, okay. oh shit this, uh, this is a struggle can you make a video yes i can wow. <laughs> so i don't know i i i i haven't done video but i i i think i try to find the similarities between the video and the photo I think I think the difference is a bit uh, there's there's not so many difference right the the difference is this one is still have have to contain so many information but the video is have to move ha- have some movement and have uh, have to this describe or tell story something yep so uh, I think and then the the difference is uh, uh, how we use the ISO the shutter speed I think it's it's only I, I think it's only that the rest is the rest is uh, about how we shoot. So uh, at that time, I think okay, I will use my uh, knowledge in lighting and I try to apply it in in video. Mm-hmm. So I think I can show you. This is the first. Uh, so this one, this video is split by power pack. Uh, I bring I bring Scoro and I bring uh, graphite and I put the modeling lights to to the to the brightest one and oh, I adjust okay. the white balance in my camera and I also I also learn I I uh, I learn a video that the shutter angle of the normal video is 180 degrees it's equals to one by fifty in. Uh, DSLR. If we shoot with the DSLR, right? So okay, okay, okay. I think I just set my shutter speed in one by fifty, and then okay, that's it. That's it. The rest, I think, is just a matter of how we how we shoot mm. and how we like. So that's my first commercial video that I've done. Yeah, I think I think it's because of the. <laughs> Eric. Eric, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I think it because of the connection, right? The the video couldn't be played properly. There's a lot of lag. Uh, perhaps what you can do is uh maybe you can share with me oh. the URL for the videos if they are up on YouTube or something. Then I can share it with the audience at home so they can see the the video as the, how. It's supposed to be played because right now it's, it's quite okay yeah there's a lot of lag <laughs> sorry about that okay so, okay let's try mm. this one yeah so uh, the, what what i did is using what i i know in photography and then just applied in video mm. so it's, it's all related 
you know, the, 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 the concept. The video as well? No, it, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, think, I think now it's related. Yeah. It doesn't? Okay. Correct. Yeah, it, it's, it's very laggy. <laughs> but I think I think we can share it uh, in a separate laggy, uh, okay. link. Yeah, I'll just put out the link later. Um, yeah, I think it's really awesome. Okay, so uh, let's just move on. Um, your now that you are working with a whole new workflow system, I mean, like uh, you, you you over the years we've evolved from a small camera then to a Nikon, and then after that, you know, things change here and there. Eventually, culminating in a phase one and all that, and now you actually have an ISO monitor and bronchial light. Um, do you think that uh, all this will the the evolution of your gear will continue to open up new ways of working and if so, um, will you be looking for more gear to evolve again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Uh, uh, I think I start from uh, brown color and related to the video, right? With the F one sixty, oh, I can do photo and video at the same time without changing the light. Now, it's oh. it's so easy to use. Right, like uh, before, I I get a project where uh, to uh, for food shot that they want me to uh, make a, a food video and photo, and I think the brown color F one sixty that that's really good. It's it's easy. It's, it's easy to use. We can use it as like like flash, but this continues. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a with with the changes of the equipment technology i think we i think we, we adapt and it's open to a new way how we can present a more good thing to our client i think yep so i think from from lighting also it it, it improves a lot and from the camera i think the i think uh i think from phase one the the frame averaging tools and the exposure plus features it 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 will bring more a possibility to do creative things mm -hmm. uh yeah, yeah i think yeah, yeah because i think for phase one if we talk only about the megapixel i think i think megapixel is i think uh if we talk megapixel is standard right yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think yeah but 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 i think their 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 advanced feature the frame averaging and uh Exposure plus, I think it's it leads to something bigger and also the infinity platform that the camera can learn. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah, it, it will it will improve and it will change about how we uh, create works for the clients. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also with the brown, I think I think it will be it it will merge the the video industry and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me now, I can. I can produce video and photo mm -hmm. at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. The gear, so like yeah, the gear is capable to do such thing. Hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah. we we got recipe asking again. Uh, Eric, do you conceptualize, direct, and produce the videos by yourself? Uh, 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 uh yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to be humble and try to get out of that question. <laughs> I can see yeah. that. <laughs> Um, so, so far, Che Matt, I think, uh, has a question as well on Facebook. Uh, which genre do you like the most among your all your, your photography genres? Oh, uh, I, I really like uh, cars. Oh, my, my passion is still cars. Still, still <laughs> automotive, cars. yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, okay, let me just move on to the question. Okay, just now we touched a little bit about Capture One. So you've been using Capture One Pro for quite some time now, since the first days of uh, using your, your your Phase One DF, I suppose. Um, what do you yeah. hope to see come up in terms of features in the future? Oh, uh, uh, I wish I wish Capture One has a built uh, has its own capability in doing panoramic and focus stacking. <laughs> oh yeah. Now it's focus already good with, with Photoshop script, right? I, I I often use it but but I think it, it will if, if the capture can have that feature on their own, it's 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 awesome. It's it's totally awesome. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think uh, that will you know take out the take out the element of using helicon focus. Now we can just do it all in capture one. I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, so um, let's just touch a little bit about life right now because of, you know, the world is now undergoing this uh, catastrophic and extraordinary event, the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, Life-wise, what has changed since COVID-19? 
Uh, oh, when the first uh, pandemic uh, happened in Indonesia, mm-hmm. uh, it's a uh, very conf- confusing. You know, there's so many video games on sale. It's a big <laughs> price cut for for <laughs> games. <laughs> so, all good games are in discount. You know, <laughs> and there's also full 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 version of free game. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect the answer, but thank you. <laughs> it's confusing. Nintendo have sales. Yeah. PS also sales. And there's Final and Fantasy VII remake and uh, so yeah, so many yeah, games yeah, to yeah, play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's the life part. <laughs> uh, but but in terms of business, in terms of business, uh, what what difficulties do you have in terms of uh, you know, uh, surviving as a business in COVID nineteen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it it changed drastically. All. Yeah, I think most of people keep keep their money. They they want they want to prepare for for the the uncertain future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but I think I consider myself being lucky. Uh, I still have a uh, running projects going on. Yeah, and then uh, some of the clients is already prepare for the situation that won't change to won't back to normal. So they already have uh, some plans to 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 make their their business to survive. So they uh, they try to boost their their online stuffs and they try to adjust uh, some of their workflow. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, from the business, yeah, the the quantity is reduced a lot, but but luckily there's still some company that already already look uh, far to the future and. I think the good thing is the company also didn't expect that the situation will back to normal, right? So, so they don't wait. They 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 still keep uh, do something with their business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for for us also, I think it's good for our mind to not expecting that everything will be the same again. So so we don't wait and. Uh, do yeah yeah just i think just stay wait and relax i think if i think we we also have to have that kind of mindset that uh, i think this is time to change i think we have to adapt to the new something un- uncertain future <laughs> yeah yeah i think yeah so do you have any uh concrete plans you can share with us um maybe uh with with regards to life after covid 19 i mean the whole pandemic is over. Do you have any plans for your business again? I think for photography, maybe is. I think we have to find out how we can do the remote shoot. Remote shoot yeah. Yeah, like maybe we we we're in the studio and they can send the the, and they can send the goods. Maybe the clients can stay on their office and mm-hmm. we can provide them with several angle of camera so they can check. <laughs> and we can and we can have a live session while we're shooting, but mm-hmm. it shoot remotely. I think. Oh, okay. I, I, quite 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 interesting. I think, I, think, I think I think it can be good and. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's 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 the thing that I think it's. Quite close to the reality that we can do. Yeah. <laughs> Remote shooting. <laughs> Remote shooting. Yeah, that that would be quite interesting. Um. Okay. Yeah. Recipe. Uh, <laughs> Recipe asked, uh, "What is your favorite social media platform for displaying your work?" Social media platform. Yeah. Favorite. Social media platform. Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, uh, honestly, I want to, I want to, I want to answer Facebook. But if I answer Facebook, uh, I think, oh, I think I will. It, it's like I'm already old. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me now is uh Facebook Facebook is I still I, I still like Facebook mm. because for me Instagram is too terrifying. <laughs> why why terrifying? When 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 I wake up in the morning, mm. I think the first five minutes. Oh no, who who is this good photographer? Oh no, oh damn, his, his photo is so so damn cool. <laughs> 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 so so it scares me. That, that oh, the world is strange. How how there's so many good there's so many super good photographer out there. Mm. So for for me, Instagram is a bit terrifying because if I need confidence to work, yep. 
I think I better, I I I I better not see Instagram. But <laughs> I think if I consider myself is already too arrogant, mm. or I have to learn something, I just open Instagram and then, <gasps> that's another It good photographer that I have. I have to. Learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe we just got time for one last question. Um, what do you hope to see change in the photography industry? Oh, hope to, hope to see. Okay, I wish I wish that the photography industry in the future also have uh, for the client side. I think I hope they have a more understanding about the 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 quality that they can get how how hard to uh, uh, how big is the challenge to create the 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 works mm -hmm. so better better understanding for the clients for the effort of photographer and i think that yeah i think i wish that the industry also have moved to the 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 better and better quality one i think mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think now it's all, all too common, right? All yeah. too common, and then the industry is pulled pulled down. Is uh, the the price is reduced, 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 reduced? I hope in the future, because the clients already more aware for the quality. The industry also can can go close up again and again. Yeah, yeah. I think I yeah. think that's a that's a very good wish. Okay, uh, any last advice to the audience? Like, uh, what gear to buy next and what to do next? <laughs> What to do next? Yeah. Go buy more uh, gear. <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, 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 for the COVID era, please find the good games first. <laughs> <laughs> When we already can start work, okay, we can. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, it's so hard. But but personally, I want I want to upgrade. To IQ four. <laughs> oh, okay. Time to talk to Pak Warren then. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lina is watching, so she she can take note as well and oh, take no. your order. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, 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 oh! Yeah. Personally, I want to have my own studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it to to make the remote work more possible with with the own studio, right? So yeah. so we can so I have can uh, prepare the equipment. I don't have to. Do you attach it or attach it? If I if I do somewhere uh, outside, mm -hmm. it it will be a uh, more more challenge to do the remote studio uh, remote shooting. I think. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's all we have the time for now for questions. Uh, but I do have one challenge for you. So um, don't mind if I just share my screen. Just give me a second. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Okay, uh, Eric, I'm gonna share my screen, and you're gonna take a look at what's going on. So, um, let me just share. Okay, so uh, can you see the screen now? Oh, yeah. wait, hold on. Let me just drag there's this. A, there's a Tony Stark. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, I just realized that it's it's not right. Just give me. A, let me just drag it over here. Yeah. Okay, where where is Zoom? Okay, is it full screen? Okay, uh, let me share the screen again. All right, you you can see the Twitter now, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we do have uh this uh hashtag stay at home challenge with mess. Um, so in the past we actually had uh things like bottle of soy sauce and then we we had a razor, um. Quite quite a few bunch of items, uh, watches and sunglasses even for for a weekly challenge of sorts. So um, I'm just gonna say out here, I want to invite you to participate in this uh challenge. Um, basically all you need to do, because you are an automotive photographer, right? So I actually want you to actually take a photo of a toy car from the comfort of your home, and post it up on social media with the hashtag Stay at Home Challenge with Mass. So this is uh your challenge to you to shoot a toy car and make it look really epic. <laughs> <laughs> since since you love automotive, I'm, I'm giving you a special special uh, uh what do you call that uh, special challenge. 
Oke okay, oke. Okay. Okay. It's hard ini. Toy car have uh, not so good details. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. Any, any toy car is fine. Uh, just just surprise me. <laughs> okay, then if you are really just put them up on uh, Instagram or Twitter and uh, or even Facebook and just put a hashtag Stay at Home Challenge with Mass. I'll pass you the, okay, the hashtag okay. later. Okay. All right. So uh, Eric, thank you so much for joining us for this evening. It's been a wonderful session sharing your life story and uh, your advice in terms of uh, workflow and. And it's very inspirational to hear what you have in store with uh, bacterial photography. But uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been asking this, but they don't want to ask. And I just want to ask it right now. Why bacterial photography? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, I already prepared for the question. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> this is, this, I promise you this is the last question. I'm just curious, that's all. Okay, the first thing, the first one, Nobody uh, so, we 